Andreas Giorgio for MMA Plus at CWAT. Now joined by a man who was supposed to be the co-main event on a very special night here at CWAT at the O2 Indigo, Nathaniel Wood. You would have been fighting against Vaughn Lee, the biggest fight of your career, an amazing, amazing fight. But unfortunately, due to um, some brain scan results, you've been pulled from the card. Can you just kind of talk us through the past week and what has actually transpired and when exactly you knew you were out of tonight's show? Yeah, well, um, it's been on going on for a while now, a problem that came up on my scan, which has now been announced was nothing. Um, but literally Thursday night, they said that they've seen a little mark, which could potentially be something. The doctor said he's not worried about it, but he can't pass me off, you know. He said until they've done a CT angiogram, he can't be 100% sure, so he said he can't put, he said he'd be mad to put his name down just in case something happened. So yeah, I was cutting weight, you know, and they, they gave me the news, so uh, yeah, pretty uh, bummed out about that. What was the official diagnosis on brain scan? Um, originally they was worried about an aneurysm, an aneurysm, aneurysm I think yeah. it was called, um, and then they said that was fine, and then they said that there's a little mark, and they said it potentially could be a spur of bone yeah. pushing against an artery. So apparently if I get hit with that, you know, it can cause whatever. Um, but he said, look, he said, I really don't think it is. I don't want to worry you. But he said, I can't pass you off. So, yeah, yeah. go ahead. Do you know when your next scan is going to be just to, to get the final check? Yeah, uh, I think I'll put it in for Tuesday. So hopefully within 24 hours, I'll have the results. Hopefully all clear and then uh, get back in there. Of course, we really do hope it's all clear because tonight was going to be a very, very special occasion for you, Vormi. I know how excited you were. We had Roberta down at Team Titan. Yeah. We did an interview with everything. We know, we know how much this meant to you tonight. Look, they've talked about potentially CW81, right? About rebooking it. Is that the island? Yeah, the island show. Yeah, you know, I, I literally just had a chat with Vaughn in the cor <laughs> in the corridor. Um, they've got that. It's in two weeks. The only problem is, obviously, I'm not going to be past. Hopefully, get yeah. past within about five, six days, you know, then if that's the first day of the week before, I said to him, I said, there's a Liverpool card, you know, so yeah, they I don't see really why we can't get that on there. Um, he said he was up for it, I'm up for it, provided I get cleared, you know, that means he can relax this week, you know, I don't want him having to cut weight and stressing about the fight, you know, he's, he's got family, I'm sure he wants to enjoy his weekend and not have to worry about that and potentially I can't fight anyway. Yeah. So, you know, for me, it makes sense to put us on that one in six weeks. Um, so yeah, you know, he's up for it, I'm up for it. If Cage Warriors are, you know, that would be, that'd be a good, uh, good scrap. That's a huge fight to add to that Echo show, which already has Paddy Pimlet against Nad Naramani. For you, I'm, I think they're already expecting somewhere between seven and 10,000 yeah. at that show. Add to already the stipulations of the fight with Wanley being the biggest in your career. To have it in that setting potentially, how much extra does that mean to you? Oh, that would be huge, you know. The, obviously the fight with Vaughn itself is huge for me. You know, um, I'm a big fan of Vaughn, you know, so it's, it would be great to get in there with him. Obviously I'm gutted because it was on UFC Fight Pass, live on BT Sport, you know. And uh, literally everything for this fight camp had gone perfect. You know, there was no issues at all. And uh, yeah, you know, I'm bummed out about it. But yeah, if we can get out on in Liverpool, you know, in front of all them people, you know, that would be a great fight and, you know, that would be a great night. Because of what's obviously transpired in the past week, has your head been in extra deep thinking mode about, you know, potentially looking at what the future actually may lie for you? Yeah, you know, on um, Thursday night when it, when it got cancelled, I didn't sleep at all. You know, my mind was just racing <clears throat> and I'm constantly thinking like, shit, you know, I'm getting older and I'm not, not in the UFC yet and this and that, you know, but I spoke to my dad and my, my coaches and they were like, look, you've got years ahead of you. You know, they already say I'm far up, I'm far up in the game and I'm, I'm skillful for where, I, where I'm at. So, uh, you know, I just got to keep plugging away and hopefully, you know, I'll get the, get the big fights and get my name out there. Yeah, did you speak to Brad Pickett at all? I'm, I'm sure you did, but um, what was said between you two? Well, I, I FaceTimed him and, uh, as he answered, he was stripping on the, ca on the camera <laughs> for me. Classic but, um, run picket, right? You know, he was, he, he's obviously guided for me, you know, because he honestly sees how hard I work, you know, and, and he said that this, this fight was mine for the taking. Um, but it is what it is, you know, and we're no, no one's worried because we're all pretty certain that this is all going to be cleared. So he just said, look, we'll just have to get it rescheduled and it's just a little setback, you know, but setback makes comeback. Yeah, the fact that we honestly, genuinely hope that everything gets all clear for you with, with the brain scan, man. This was a big fight for you tonight, and we do hope you do get that very special occasion against Vaughn Lee, potentially at the Echo Arena, man. Yes, lovely, that'd be great. Thank you very much for your Thank time. You. Cheers, bro.